What are we doing today? Rappers. No, God! You're joking, right? They're back again. No! You're joking, right? I am so sorry to my world. This is not what we want. I thought I told you I was done with this shit. So it's gonna be a review about diamonds again. So I got the big dog. <laughs> it's like my prized possession right here. And then that AP next to it, it's a really, really rare watch. And you really f***ed it up. Today, unfortunately, I'm reviewing rappers watch collections or shall i say diamond collections probably before we get into the video make sure you are subscribed to the channel and if you want to buy or sell your watch please go to prideandpinion.com unless you have some piece of shit aftermarket bollocks then just go look yourself up in the mirror i'll wait for you you see yourself yeah you are a disappointment so the title of this video is gonna show off is Insane Jewelry Collection GQ. Gunna's the rapper. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I'd never heard of Gunna. Gunna sees some post Watson. Gunna, yeah. What's up, GQ? It's Gunna on the rocks. You see that watch roll there, that Louis Vuitton watch roll? Let me grab that. I have exactly the same. Didn't find it. But what I did find is an example of a proper watch roll. You know why I hate that watch roll so much. Why? I traveled from Philadelphia back to Ireland and I had three watches in there including a brand spanking new platinum day date and a brand spanking new 5711 white dial but that watch roll doesn't have any spacers in between so the crown of the day date was hitting the brand new 5711 white dial damaged the Patek Philippe. So my tip to you is when you buy a watch roll always make sure it has spacers in between and don't buy the Louis Vuitton ones. We have a few good ones on the website by the way. Go to prideandpain.com. Gonna. Gonna buy a better watch roll. Gonna buy a better watch his sunglasses are quite cool. I, li I like Cartier sunglasses, to be fair. I really am into watches. This was the first Rolex that was given to me. The, he, he gave it to me for my birthday. After then, I just started just buying watches, just like all different types, not just Rolexes. Is he new in the rap game? Is he like like a rookie or something? I actually don't know who he is, to be honest. No, I have no clue who he is either. But uh, yeah, what do you want me to say about these? They're absolute rubbish, mate. Yeah, the Richard Mills are right. That f***ing date just, that, that he f with f***ing that bezel. Because that's a bezel you f***ing glue on. And that AP is, listen, do you see the funny bit? Is, this is a fake AP dial. You know how you can see that as well. First of all, the dial was never produced by AP because of the diamonds like that right but you can also see that the date the number six is really low on the dials because it's not made for each other you see what i mean it's a piece of mate first watch it's an audemar two-tone rose and white it's about sixty-five thousand for that that watch was never produced in two-tone so someone is telling him like fibs that's an audemar pk royal oak 15 400 that watch was only made in steel and precious metals but not in a buy configuration steel and precious metal to be fair to the other rappers in the past mate he says 65 g's if it was one of the Migos, this watch would have been 650,000 pounds, like, because the Migos just put an extra zero on there. Playing Rolex. I didn't pay for it, but I think they probably like 16,000. Your thug gave me this. Nah, mate. Um, 16,000 for that day just. Aye. Watch is worth about 10 grand. This is the latest watch I bought. It was Richard Mille. It was about 125,000. To be fair to Ghana, that RM30 is quite a clever watch. It's quite a cool watch for Richard Mill. The watch doesn't only feature a date function, but also a very special system for the power reserve. The watch has a 55 hour power reserve, meaning that when you don't wear the watch for 54 hours or 55 hours, it will still work. On the left side of the dial, there's a counter from zero to 50, and there's an on and off button on the dial. The watch can only wind itself to about 50 hours, meaning when you wear the watch, it winds of the watch automatically to 50 hours. If you want the full 55 hour power reserve, you have to wind the watch manually with the crown. Sophisticated system. Useless, but sophisticated. This Richard Mille is made out of titanium and rose gold and currently has a value between 250 and $270,000. This watch is a Hublot, it's about 15,000. Little Dirk. Is he from Lord of the Rings or something? Also, I have no idea who he is. AP. Um, I got it from Izzy the Jewel. Uh, he's based out of New York. Um, 95,000. <laughs> I 
I'm saying nothing, um, little donkey. I'm saying nothing, mate. 95 Gs, mate. You know what the point is, right? And I've said this before. Either they're lying about the price they've paid, or they're getting absolutely f from every angle and every hole without any condom or loop. That's painful, mate. My first watch with Jewel X. Lost that to me. How much do you think you've lost in Jewel X? Um, tennis bracelet was like 17,000. The little ring was like 35,000. And the rollie I got, the first rollie I had got, it was probably like 20. You can also put like 50 grand on there for what you've lost in that f***ing AP. It's f***ing ridiculous, mate. Hey, yo, what it do is the kid money bag, yo, we're on the rocks. Money bag. I got this from Shine Jeweler. This is like 80. Sky Dweller, two-tone Rolex. You can see like the white on the side, the yellow gold down the middle. Bills are bust down. You're joking. Not another one? You having fun? <laughs> You enjoy yourself. Is this, is this is this really necessary, right? And actually, I got this black face because the, when I work, when I rock this Michael Myers chain, got the black hair just kind of go with it. Like. <laughs> Don't get worked up again. You're enjoying yourself, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me grab a calculator, mate. Calculator. So let's play a game with this calculator, right? Let's buy a two-tone Sky Dweller together, you and me. Just a plain Jane, right? Reference number 326933. Ah, there's one. A new Rolex Sky Dweller. Reference number 326933 with a black dial. Twenty-two and a half thousand dollars. Let's buy that, right? So how much did he say again? This was like 80. This was like 80. We just bought a plain Jane one at 22 and a half. And let's put 80,000 on there, right? Minus 22 and a half. 57,500. The most expensive diamonds on watches are the baguette cut diamonds. These are just shitty throwaway diamonds. You're paying most probably between two and four thousand dollars to ice this out. This is materials and labor because it's very labor intensive to make this. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Say he paid ten thousand dollars. So more than double. I'm still missing forty seven thousand five hundred dollars, mate. That watch at tops at absolute mega tops is worth between thirty and thirty five thousand dollars. Eighty thousand dollars. Suck my f***ing cock! Do you want me to speak about money bag or can we just move on? We can move on. Thank you. It's time to go! Yo, what's up? It's Polo G and you watching On The Rocks. Polo G. Again. I have never heard of this. I really started off with a Rolex. That was my first watch that I ever got. But I ended up trading that in and I went and bought this watch from Wafi with my 1300 chain. He put like big pointers down the side of it. It's like a custom one on one watch. And yeah, I think this is a presidential Rolex. Like, I'm just gonna say this, right? In one of the last rapper videos, people are like, you're racist, you don't understand black culture. It's got nothing to do with being black. It's got nothing to do with any form of culture. Does Kevin Hart wear this? Shit? No, he keeps it right. You wear a watches and there's no need for that. Before I got to that watch I had went and bought this. I was searching for this watch for a long time. Oh! How the f did he get his hands on that? Every time I'm there, I would check back in on the prices for a jeweler and give me a new number. At first, this watch was probably about $40,000 when I first looked into it. And when I purchased it, I purchased it for about $90,000. How the actual f did he get his hands on that watch? The whole f video, the whole f time, I see garbage, and then he pulls out this magic piece. Magic. Nah, bro, this watch is special. This watch was only produced for one year. There's approximately like 50 of these ever produced. It wasn't limited edition, but when AP introduced this watch in 2016, they introduced a complete new layer immediately after. A complete new case and a complete new dial configuration immediately after. Discontinuing this watch after less than a year. This is the reference number 26321BA and that was replaced with the 26331BA. Mate, that is bunkers. 41 mil, solid yellow gold, Unbelievable dial. This is one of the nicest dials that AP has ever produced, funny enough. This watch is worth today at least at least two hundred thousand dollars. At least. It just what the f I've never seen the gold configuration of this with a blue dial. Never. It's also the first time I've ever seen it on a video. That's how rare this is. Yeah, I got this Cartier. I got it from Icebox. Just wanted to get a watch that I know I never really had. So Shall I just leave it there? Out of respect. Polo G, incredible AP, the rest is f dog shit. King of New York is back. Tomorrow, April 15th, listen, you know I don't address nothing. I'm never gonna address nothing. Y'all believe what y'all wanna believe. That's a half a ticket right there. Nice shoes, mate. I do not cap, this is really my lifestyle. This is how I really live. You see, when you go home after rapping, 
That's your life. This is really my life. I don't address nothing. You hear me? You got one house right here. Two houses right here. Three houses right here. Four houses right here. Five houses right here. Maybe two houses right there. You feel me? Depending where the houses are situated. I mean, these are mostly basic RMs. Like, in London, he wouldn't be able to buy a house with that whole chain. You got one house right here. To be honest, the first one looks like an RM30, which is about 250k. But he iced it out with aftermarket diamonds, so it's probably worth about 175. Two houses right here. I'm pretty sure that the second one is an RM10 made in titanium, worth between 140 and 160 thousand dollars. Three houses right here. F me, I can't see that. Listen, mate, I can't see it. I just can't. Video is shit. The quality is but you know what the thing is? He's mates with Steve. Steve and I are gonna hook up, have some f***ing pints. And I, I don't really wanna f*** up this relationship. He's mates with Steve. And he buys watches from friends of mine. What do you want me to do? Absolutely destroy him? Yeah. No, his watches are probably f***ing worthless because he's hanging them on a chain and he's f***ing destroying not only the case but also the movement. And there's money on the ground. Maybe people are right. Maybe I don't understand this culture or this lifestyle. Maybe I'm too much of a boomer. Give me a rapper's conclusion. The conclusion is that you destroyed my entire day and these guys don't change. People just presume it has diamonds. Oh, it must be valuable. That's incorrect.